I'm Mark Kepler, Purdue University Extension Educator here in Fulton County. Uh, every once in a while we get involved in what I call a bug event. That means when something comes into the area that's, that really uh, gets a lot of questions and affects a lot of different people. Right now we're dealing with a, an event that's come in here. Today is uh, July 25th and in the last few days I've gotten several calls on this insect. <clears throat> and this insect is called the army worm. And it truly comes by its name like it should have. Uh, an army, if you think about them marching along, that's what this insect does. So let's go backwards and see what happens. <clears throat> Coming out of the south is usually some moths. Hangs around down in Mexico in that area. They get up in the air and they start flying. They get up in the jet stream and they get coasted along in the jet stream. And then maybe a front or something comes in. And when that front hits them, they drop some moths down. <clears throat> and so wherever they happen to hit is just happenstance. Just the circumstances that we're dealing with. And so once they get down, those moths lay eggs in grassy areas. They like grass. <clears throat> And because of that, they lay those eggs in this grassy area. Those eggs hatch out into worms, and the worms start feeding. And they get the name army worm because they just march. And they eat, and they eat, and they eat, and they march and march. And once this food's gone, they keep right on going. They march right across the road, making road slicks. They march across anything in their area in order to get onto that next blade of grass to get to. Sometimes we'll see this happening in wheat crops because wheat is a grass. Sometimes we find them in corn because corn is a grass. Or right here in this field that we're looking at, or this grass right here, we're seeing these army worms out here feeding along and they're doing a, and consuming. And they just consume, consume, consume until they get to a good enough size and then they'll de develop into moths and fly away. And we got a problem this year, but we never may not have a problem another year. It just happens to be where the moths drop down the maw moth, that's a good word to use, picks an area that's really grassy and comes into it. I had a call from somebody that they came out of the soybean field into their yard. And well, what happened was that soybean field was full of grass. They sprayed that grass and killed that grass down in that soybean field. Got to have something to eat. So they moved into the yard and started feeding on it. <clears throat> if you've got this, I want you to look out for it especially in farm fields and corn fields and around lawns. We're seeing it in our area right now. If you find this, you need to probably get an insecticide that contains the active ingredients either per methrun or bifenthrun. Those are two different products out there that you can buy as concentrate and you can spray upon these. And as you take a look at these, you'll just see they consume and consume and there can be thousands of these in your yard. And so this is something you want to be on the guard for and take a look in your area to see if it's around. This is Mark Kepler, Purdue University Extension Service. If you need more information, our office is at the fairgrounds here in Rochester. We'll be happy to help you out.